Hello, my name is Michael Berry. I'm the head of school at Bandung Independent School located in the West Java, Indonesia. In March 2020, many schools globally were forced into teaching and learning online. Uh, at that time, this created hastily an online platform to facilitate teaching and learning. And like many schools worldwide, this sought feedback from teachers, from parents, and from students uh, in an effort to make our online platform better and better over time. Uh, the result is what we feel is a high quality, world-class uh, online teaching platform. Now, it goes without saying that uh, we would rather be teaching in a face-to-face -face environment. Um, I feel that the, the teaching and learning is more efficient and it's more enjoyable for everyone who takes part in those experiences. But unfortunately in Indonesia, uh, many schools we just don't have that option. So until we can welcome our families back on campus, we will continue uh, to offer high quality teaching and learning uh, through our distance learning platform. So over the next four minutes, you're gonna hear from various uh, stakeholders in the school, their perspectives on our distance learning program. You'll hear about um, our student engagement. You'll hear about how teachers support both the students and the families in an online environment. Uh, we'll hear a little bit more about the synchronous and asynchronous uh, teaching and learning that we do both online and offline. And finally, we'll learn about how this distance learning program prepares our students for the next step in their education. So I would like to thank you in advance for viewing the remainder of this video. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jessie Lamb and I have four kids here at BIS. The teachers are doing a great job of engaging the kids, whether that means practicing and throwing socks for PE, getting feedback on projects for assignments, or joking around with my kids so that the teachers know um, that they care. The rumor is that students are falling behind because they are learning online. But at BIS, that simply isn't true. Because the teachers are using engaging online learning platforms, the students are actually learning and they are exactly where they should be. In my class, we are reading books together. We are writing short stories and sharing our ideas. We also take the time every week to really connect. That is really important for the health of our students. And in this way, the students are having fun and they're still learning. I've been able to have fun throughout the distance learning. For example, we had a science project and we got to create our own animal, which was really fun. And for math, we did a really fun activity. The reason I enjoy being a part of this is because the teachers are very caring and helpful, and they are there when you need them. To share our acting and presenting skills, we split into two groups for readers' theater. My group chose to act out Stephanie's ponytail. I played Stephanie and I had to keep changing my hair. It was so much fun. Staying in Zoom meetings throughout the day can be tiring. However, at BIS, the synchronous lesson allows students to learn off Zoom meetings at their own pace. The synchronous classes also allow students to review previous Zoom meetings as they are recorded and shared with the students. So if you miss a certain details here and there, you'll be fine. In case a student is missing a class, the Zoom recording is available anytime. This is also very helpful if the student is not sure about something, so he or she can watch the recording anytime. The teachers are very pleased with their students. They take the time to learn. In the time I was in Germany for winter break, the time difference was about 6 hours. Our so it was difficult for me to join the Zoom meeting, but the teachers were so awesome and cool. So I still felt like I was a part of the discrimination. Having positive relationships with my students is vital. Whether it's in the classroom or online, I make it a point to stay connected. I want my students to know with all their hearts that they are cared about and supported. A warm and safe environment allows them to take risks and to be authentic learners. Um, I think it's also important to note that I'm currently in a very different time zone with 
um, Pandum about 15 hours or so, so it gets quite challenging doing all the IB requirements with a different time zone. That being said, I think that my teachers and supervisors have all been very supportive and quite flexible and accommodating as well with where I am currently and with all my classmates actually. Um, they're always available through Hangouts, Gmail, um, during office hours to answer any of our questions or concerns, but also just to discuss things outside of academics, like what's going on in our life or what's happening in the news, which I really appreciate because it makes online schooling less robotic and less um, tiresome. Every once in a while, teachers ask me to pick up resources from school. Resource pickups has helped me to accomplish my projects at home. I picked up the EMBA from school and that allows me to write and experiment my codes with Python or Scratch for my robotic class. Distance Learning at BIS helped me prepare for university. Uh, distance Learning at BIS has made it easier for me to focus on doing my work and to prioritize my work and to not be shy with answering and asking questions or voicing my opinions without being afraid of judgment. I've become more of a risk taker. Teachers have prepared me and my classmate well for the IV Diploma program. Although it's harder to take in information and learn online, we can ask questions directly and teachers are also flexible with asynchronous and synchronous classes. So this allows us to have more freedom and revise more for certain classes. In Dragon Time, the homeroom teacher talks with the students about mental health and what they can do to stay active and healthy. In my opinion, the distance learning works very well for all of us.